Hey everybody, we're back with Pop Mechanics and we're at Orms, our favorite place to be, chatting to a man who's no stranger uh, to the world of photography and that is Craig Kaleski. And we're talking about a brand, probably the most established brand in photography in the world, with one of them at least, Nikon. Uh, Americans call it Nikon. It's Nikon. I know, but it's Nikon. <laughs> but they, they do that though. Hey, have you got a nice Nikon there, Craig? Yeah. Um, talk to us about, first of all, your relationship with Nikon we know is, it's since the beginning of digital cameras, surely, and then way <laughs> before that as well. Not really. Um, I joined Nikon, I think it was in 2010. Okay. And um, yeah, I've been part of the family ever since. And yeah, I love the brand, love yes. the, the crew I work with. And yeah, they're very helpful and supportive of what we do as photographers. As a professional photographer, Craig, you've seen the evolution of the brand all the way to the latest and greatest in terms of digital photography mm. from Nikon. What is the latest on the market at the moment from Nikon? The latest right now is the Z9. Yeah. It's, um, this is the buzz. The this buzz is the camera. buzz. It's actually also still a very difficult camera to get hold of. Um, yeah. I managed to get mine undercover okay. and uh, I've had it for a while and um, it's changed the way I shoot. What, what makes it so stand out? What are the kind of things as a photographer you look for in a body like this from Nikon? So the, the main things for me is the way it fits in my hand. Yeah. It just feels part of my hand as I'm holding it. Yes. Um, the weight of it and just the way it feels. And obviously with all the new technology, mm. the way it shoots. It yeah. just as um, the first time I used it was uh, in the Suti on the Ryan Sands Navigator Suti project. Yes. And um, that changed the way I got photos. And if I didn't have this camera, there would have been shots I would have missed yeah. if I was still on a DSR. The the whole kind of a ecosystem that uh, that Nikon have in terms of the lenses is incredible. Uh, does this require an adapter? Does it shoot with all the glass that comes that standard kind of for, for, for Nikon? I think. I don't know the percentages, but it shoots with most lenses yes, yeah. and you get an adapter, which is this. Oh, that's really cool. This is called FTZ. This okay. is the FTZ2. Right. The nice thing about this adapter, I can just show you quickly. Yeah. Um, there's a this old, is a serious lens we need to talk about as well. That is. There's an old adapter with okay. this little bump on it. The bump on it, and that's bumpless. So bumpless. This one with the Z9, you yeah. can't hold the, the grip. Got this you. This one, you can. Fits. Yes. Yeah, nice. So this works on all my all the lenses as well. You've brought some amazing glass as well. And we're going to take a step aside from the, 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 the Z9 to talk a little bit about some of the glass you have here. This is monstrous. Yes. Probably the only one of its kind in, in, could be Africa. I don't know. It's a 600 f.4. This is my go-to surf lens, um, sure. kiteboarding. And it's a, I call it my special occasion yeah. lens. It's a, it's a big lens. It's hard to travel with it. Sure. And um, yeah, it's a very expensive lens. But the lens I use the most when I'm yes. in Jay Bay now is this, the 200, 200. 500, yeah. 5.6. It's oh. a cheap lens, I think it's like 20,000 Rand. Okay. And um, unbelievable. Ideal. It's, I can't, I'll, I'm blown away by yes. the quality of the photos with this. The nice thing about this is you got your range. Yeah. And it's small, it fits in my bag and carried yeah. around. This is like carrying a child around. Nikon have done really well with their AFS lenses. They really have. They've made it, um, you know, and some of them certainly, as you mentioned, more affordable yeah. for the photographer who wants to get out there and they get those great images uh, at, a, at a fantastic glass point in terms of what you can pay for glass, which we all know can be hundreds of thousands of rands. But if you invest in good glass, it can yeah. last you a whole lifetime. Yes. Yeah. I've still got lenses that are 20 years old and they're actually sharper than the new lenses. So if you invest in glass, yeah. it's a lifetime investment. It depends how you look after it and get them serviced. And Somebody stuff. watching that's getting into photography for the first time and they're coming across to Nikon, what would be your the, the trilogy? The trilogy of must-haves for, 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 I guess, all occasions. You're going and you only get three lenses to take with you. And I say that you're going, and, and let's, let's say you're going on a holiday, you'll be doing a little bit of, of maybe uh, you'll sit on the beach and grab some surf shots but okay. like a trilogy of lenses that you that you'd go nowhere without okay i will always take a 70 to 200 yeah i will always take a 24 to 70 got you and i'll take a 14 to 30. oh there it is so there is a 50 more for portraits sure. but you nifty got 50, 50 nifty 50 but you got that in your um yeah. 24 you got to 70 yeah. but this but is prime is gonna be, oh. two, but if you have to travel lights that'll be that's it right there I can get away with a lot. I love it. Just for that. Nikon have done really amazing things and stayed true to the, the kind of a, the ethos of the brand. I mean, there, there are no frills, serious 
bit of equipment. They're not here to, to tiptoe around photography. They're here for you to be in a remote place in the middle of nowhere and have something that's reliable, that's able to point at whatever the target, uh, subject you're looking at and deliver the best results. And that when I think of Nikon, I think of the old F4s of yeah. the 80s and 90s yeah. that were workhorses. I bomb mean, they proof. were bomb proof. Yeah. Literally, they, they went to areas of the world that, that, that I mean, I think at one stage, in, in nearly every Times magazine had a, an image that was on it shot in an F4. Uh, it was it was just the, the staple in in the photographic world. They've remained true to that DNA, that brand DNA. Yeah, you know, just tough, rugged cameras. My D5 I had when I changed this. I think it was on just over five hundred thousand accusations. The only reason I stopped using it is it fell into salt water. Oh it man, got damaged. But yeah. otherwise, it was still going one hundred percent. Besides the Z9, what else is new? What else should we keep an eye on, on, on from from Nikon? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You, are you, and that's what I love is that when, like, for Craig's got his, and this is his, his shooter. So the Z9, look no further than this. There's some incredible products that are out at the moment from Nikon. They've also got a new little compact camera that's hit the market by storm, uh, and it kind of fills that void that was missing from Nikon to be able to Z, fulfill. Z30. Correct. Yeah, yeah. For, fulfill the role that vloggers wanted, that weekend shooters wanted. If you didn't want to lug around a big, a big camera, you had something small and compact that you could pull out and shoot with filling um, a big a massive big gap. Yeah. massive so my my bodies on when we travel with are z9 z62 z72 got you z62 z72 fit my water housing got and you. it's also if i'm doing a mission on the mountain i don't want to carry a big body yes. i've got smaller bodies yeah. but um the z30 um, is not here yet unless you've you've really been sent no me, i don't know i have I, but, um, it's not here yet. yeah it'll be a very cool camera to test uh, i used the z50 yes. a lot and yeah. i did some really cool photos with that and um, also the Z5 also very similar to the Z62 yes. same size body, body but yeah. also but lighter I think eh? and yeah these days you don't need these big no 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 bodies I no mean, but, this thing but is I mean packed. it's it's, it's this, sturdy it, this, this thing is shoots 120 frames a oh, second geez. in in JPEG and 20 in RAW and actually the camera is too fast I've had to tone it down I've started using more drives and I had to update my laptops and everything so if you're going to upgrade to this camera, there's a whole lot of other things you look at as well. I love it. I hope you've also enjoyed the montage of images uh, of some of Craig's work throughout the course of this chat with Craig. Uh, and with most of those images that you provided, was that all shot in the Z9? All Z9 and um, within the last two, three months. Jeez, yeah, that's so crazy. That's, uh, yeah, it's been a good... It's also been like relearning a few things with the, the viewfinder and sure. the live view. And yep. um, the eye focus, it's all new and I mean the Z6 and it had, had all that but this is just different level. Yeah, yeah. Different level completely. Amazing. If they've got stock, they come and go literally it hits the store and the shelves at Orms and it flies off. Uh, there could even be a waiting list for the Z9. If you're lucky to have your name down on one, hopefully you'll get that call soon. If not, add to the list of must-haves because this camera does it all, it shoots it all and uh, like I said, that's why we brought in the pro to talk about it. This man uses this as a workhorse. This is his bread and butter and I don't see why it shouldn't uh, be yours as well. Craig, thanks for your time today, mate. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, and a big thanks to, to, to Nikon for keeping you in, uh, keeping your business alive because yeah. without them reinventing the wheel and, and kind of evolving their brand, you know, there'd be, there'd be a lot of photographers, I guess, that'd be scratching their head wondering what's next from this brand. But every mm. year, something new, something better, something greater, something that adds to the ecosystem and something that just ticks all the boxes. Yeah, I mean, the Z9 is a game changer. It is. Love it. Don't take our word for it. Get to ormsdirect.co.za or pop on down to your nearest Orms. And we'll catch you again on Pop Mechanics next week, talking more tech.